Hi, I'm Ted Baum from True Log Siding, and in this video, we're going to show you how to install our bold window trim. The bold window trim will come in either a heavy gauge aluminum, 032, or in steel, depending on the color. To start out, you're going to take your speed square, you're going to mark a 45 on the panel, then you're going to square it up on the bottom part here. And that'll tell you how much you have to cut out. So now all we want to do is just cut out this leg here. So we'll cut up square, we'll flatten that leg out, and then we'll cut up the corner, eliminating that flap. Once that's done, you'll take the panel, get it between the J channel and the window, so it's tight, and then you'll mark this side where it needs to be straight cut. You mark across, and then you'll 45 this. Now when you're done 45 in this, you'll turn your speed square over, and that'll tell you the length that you need to cut it off at. Once we have that marked, we'll go ahead and cut the square cut first. So that's our length. Now we're going to cut this lower leg out. Now that that's cut out, we're going to install it. You slide it between the J channel and the window. And if you're a little long, just trim a little bit more off. And try it again. Tap it in place, get it to where it's square to the wall and then we'll do the sides. We'll repeat the same process. 45 it, so you know where to cut the flat part. Now this one, we're going to cut this completely out. You'll hold it up against this piece, and then you'll mark the bottom. Once again, it's between the J channel and the windows where you'll mark your piece. Once you have it marked, you'll square this across. Use your speed square again to get your length. And that tells you where to cut your length. Cut it. So now, once your length is cut, all we want to do is cut this leg out. Slide this in between the window and the J channel and slowly tap until it's in place and then get one fin behind the other. And the reason I do my cuts upward, they're not as noticeable. 
and any water gets behind her, runs into the J channel and runs out the bottom. Now we will repeat the process on this side. Now we want to remove this tab, and that tab only. And then we'll install this one. Now the bottom one, we're going to cut both 45s, and you'll see I leave these tabs here to support it so they're not flopping against each other. One will hold the other. So we'll do the same process as, uh, uh, as we did on the top one. We'll mark this. We'll mark this tab here. Now on this one, we want to cut it completely out on both sides. And then you'll butt this to this one. And then you'll mark this side. And that'll tell you where to mark and cut. then install. The flaps support both cuts on the bottom and on top. Now to secure it, we usually use DAPT clear caulking. Put a bead right here. You don't want to use silicone because silicone will attract dust to it. The DAPT doesn't. And if you're concerned about it blowing off, you can come back here with a text bit 
and put a sheet metal screw in in two places. Here's a little tip while installing your window trim. If it seems to be bending outward, not quite square, what you want to do is figure out the distance that you need to cut, mark the leg, which might be too long for you, take your tin snips, go ahead and cut that leg to shorten it up. Install your piece. And if it's square, you have it. If it's not quite square, you can pull it out, cut a little bit more off. And that's how you install the bold window trim.